shooting and dodging. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator. Today we are going to try something just a little bit different. I am looking at a trailer for a game called Space Moth DX and uh, upon seeing it, it provided some massive laughs for my friends and I. Basically not in the best way, but you guys can let me know what you think. Of course, I'm going to give my two cents and uh, hopefully you guys will agree and if not, do let me know. Some people seem to like this game, but I am definitely not one of them, so without any further ado, let us start the trailer and uh, we will make our judgments based solely on that. This is a game by 1CC Games, which stands for One Credit Complete, which uh, I guess makes sense because you only have one life in this game. Intense? Yes, this game is extremely intense. It doesn't say whether it's positive or negative. I could intensely hate something, if you know what I mean. And uh, this game probably falls under that banner. I don't think intense fall means uh, that you'll intensely love it. Definitely looking at the graphics, it's colorful, but it sort of looks uh, a bit like shit. Arcade! That tells us little to nothing about the game, just that uh, you're probably going to be beating your high score for a lot of this. There's very little progression in the game. I believe you can get one new ship for completing the game, but outside of that, uh, relatively unimpressive. I do enjoy arcade-style games where you can beat your high score. However, this is uh, probably not the game that you want to do it with. Bullet Hell games are better served with uh, more unlockables and things like that. <laughs> shooting and dodging. That's right, friends. We have uh, both shooting and dodging present in, in this game, which kind of goes without being said, uh, considering that it is a bullet hell shooter. So you dodge the bullets, you shoot the enemies that are shooting said bullets. Uh, no fucking shit. <laughs> which really lets you know that they're reaching um, as far as features and such to include. This is a Black Shell Media game, so uh, I think that should tell you at least a little something about what is offered here, and uh, the truth is that that ain't much, unless you like shooting and dodging. <laughs> Soul Drain. Oh my god, okay. So, <laughs> this is like a joke that writes itself. The game does have a feature called Soul Drain, where you can uh, drain the souls from enemies, but unfortunately an unsuspected feature uh, of that was that it drains the soul from the player. The game is obviously not that creative, the game is obviously not uh, extremely engaging or anything like that, unless you really enjoy bullet hells, but even then there are a shit ton of bullet hells I could offer you that are better including Blue Rider and Astabreed just off the top of my head. This is, uh, yeah, not, probably not what you want to go for if you have, if you have five bucks to spend. Bullet grazing? What the fuck is bullet grazing? <laughs> like a cow that eats bullets? I don't understand. I think you're like almost grazed by the bullets is what they're trying to say there. Maybe they're not uh, native English speakers or something like that, but uh, bullet grazing kind of falls in line with shooting and dodging. And again, I say, no fucking shit. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> hidden bonus! That's uh, a bonus that's also hidden. So, I don't know whether they're hidden inside the bugs, or, or if you just build up a combo or something like that and you can get some treats from that, but uh, hidden bonus is probably not a feature worth mentioning in your game. Hey, guess what? You can increase your combo multiplier. Well, no shit. It's an arcade game. I would hope that you would be able to. Ugh, this, this, this is soul draining to me, just watching this trailer one more time. It's fucking awful. 
uh, I do like the graphics. It's nice and colorful, but this this music is just droning, and uh, yeah, the game can't even think of any more features to point out about itself. Whatever. Let's continue. <laughs> Super special secret. Is that different from Hidden Bonus? I, I'm not sure I quite understand. <laughs> God damn it, we've we've hit on uh, shooting, dodging, and bullet grazing, which all could have fit into the same thing under no fucking shit. And then uh, Hidden Bonus and Super Special Secret, which also could have fit under the arcade title. So this game, really, really unimpressive trailer. I've <laughs> it's laughably bad. It has no features to point out about itself, and uh, at a $5 price tag, I think it's just fucking abysmal. Maybe I could see myself paying 99 cents for this. Maybe, if I hated my money and I wanted to get rid of it for some unspecified reason. But uh, overall, oh my god. If you spent $5 on this, I am so sorry. I, my heart goes out to you. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> Face your fear. I think my biggest fear is uh, people paying $5 for this game. It does show a big spoopy spider and a big old beetle and stuff, which, you know, some people are scared of bugs, but come on. Come the fuck on. You <laughs> is that really a feature of the game? It's, it's gonna get rid of your arachnophobia? <laughs> I don't understand at all. There's, there's very little to like about this game. The Steam reviews are mostly positive, but I think that's because a lot of keys were given away. Or maybe there are just people uh, who enjoy bullet hell games enough that this did fall in line for them, but there are no weapon power-ups. There are uh, very few difficulty options. There's basically normal and then DX, which is the hard mode, but uh, all the all that happens is they have uh, bullets that chase you in the hard mode, which I think is kind of bullshitty anyways. Oh, this game, this game, please do not spend money on this game. Uh, yeah, this is my fear. <laughs> I fear this game. I wish I could take it out of my library. Absolutely horrible. Dodge or die again we're we're reaching back to the <laughs> to the dodging dodge the bullets what the fuck ever like i understand what a bullet hell game is obviously 1cc wants to really drive that home that you will be dodging bullets in this game if you couldn't tell from the footage itself i really <sighs> I don't expect a trailer to show you all of the features of the game, but at least sell me on something in the game. Watching this trailer has made me uh, basically feel that they they don't know the selling points of their game, or they don't think that there are any, and honestly I would agree with them on that fact, because it's just that bad. That default text with a, a little glow behind it is not gonna impress anybody. It's readable, I'll grant you that, but come on, go to defont.com and, and maybe download some, some free text from there and come up with something a little more interesting, a little more fitting to the aesthetic. The trailer was just thrown together, obviously, in probably 30 minutes, if that, and uh, I bet the game took only slightly longer <laughs> to put together. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I hate Space Moth. There it is, friends, the uh, ending, thankfully, of the trailer for Space Moth DX. They have arcade, arrange, and practice game modes. I don't think practice should really be a game mode. No continues, obviously, one credit complete, one CC is the developer's name, so maybe I'll give them a pass on that. Then they have a save, a save state progression system which does help for the one credit completion, but it also uh, kind of shoots the one credit completion in the foot. Because if you're playing in the arcade mode, you would not have a save state. 
That doesn't make any sense. You can't go spend one quarter and go, oh, save state here, and fucking reload it every time you die, which is what would probably happen in this game. So it needs to pick one direction or the other, in my opinion. And then you've also got scan line and Tate screen options. Tate basically is just uh, turning the screen because it has that horrible uh, aspect ratio to it where you're just staring down the barrel of this one little thing and the, the sides are taken up basically by uh, more of the game or repetition of parts of the game. It's really fucking weird. I don't like this game at all, as you can probably tell, and the trailer does nothing to sell me on it. I thought it was so horrible and so laughable when I saw it that I just wanted to kind of uh, point that out. It's been out for a while now, the developers might not see this, but if they do, if they decide to make another game, it needs to go a lot further and be a lot better than what is offered here. Obviously, yeah, no... No positive aspects are even uh, demonstrated in the trailer. It's just like, well, here's a generic bullet hell game. Oh, also it has bugs, which doesn't doesn't sell me on anything. I love bugs and I love bullet hell, but you know what? This game looks like a piece of shit. It plays like a piece of shit. I gave it about five minutes before I just shut it off completely because there are uh, many bullet hell games with much better progression, much m more innovation and much better graphics and soundtrack, if you want me to be honest. So, Space Moss DX, you will stay uninstalled on my computer. I hope to never have you darken my door again, and uh, I hope that you will join me for the next time, friends. The demo is also available if you uh, would like to punish yourself. I don't think many people would, unless you're an extreme masochist. If you like this episode, you want to see some more content like this, please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. And if you do, friends, I'll send you a conch shell. You can hold it up to your ear, and uh, what you hear from there will probably be better than what you hear in this game. <laughs> Anyways, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thanks so much for watching, and until the next time, friends, bye bye